Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, Fatima. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine and tired. Yeah, I imagine. I imagine already. If it is Thursday, you must be tired. Yes, well, yes, yes. Altura. <laughs> we are tired indeed. <laughs> All right. Let me check. Anyway, I I hope tomorrow for for rest. Ah, uh, yeah, it's true. Tomorrow is going to be instead of being Friday, but also free day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> <laughs> me gusta decir eso para animarme. <laughs> All right. Let me check, Farima. How many people do we have? Yeah, let's get started. So today we're going to continue with section five, right? We have a lot of content to develop and we must uh, advance a lot of in that content. All right. So let's check. Today is class 14. Everybody, look at that. You're just about to finish your level. That's great. Excellent. Let's move on. We have the guiding structure for negative statements. Now, if you remember, yesterday we were working on negative statements, right? But many of you didn't finish the activities. So today we're going to continue working with this just as a matter of recalling previous learning or just as a warming up, right? What I need you is to recognize the use, the correct use of each negative statement, right? So let's check. We have the structure, which is, let me see. Elizabeth Campos, can you please tell me the structure? Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. That's correct. Thank you so much. All right, so there you have it. Let's, please, let's not mistake in this part. Remember, and I will say this uh, once again. Remember everybody, if you have was or were or wasn't or weren't, you, <coughs> you don't need to add another verb, all right? No necesitan ponerle o adherir otro verbo, ¿ok? Recuerden que con el ser o estar, que sería was new word, all right? Bueno, en present es ser o estar, all right? So let's see, con estos no se puede conjugar otro verbo. Ya vamos a ver cómo podemos crear questions utilizando past of be, but meanwhile, you cannot use another verb, all right? Because that's another tense. Si utilizamos un verbo conjugado con esto, ya es otro tiempo gramatical y todavía no vamos a ir. So let's check. Let me have some of you in this participation. We have the guiding examples. Carla Patricia, can you please tell me the guiding examples? Uh, I wasn't very friendly. Cathy Kati wasn't happy last week. We weren't at home this morning. That's correct, excellent. All right, everybody, how many of you did you finish the practice yesterday? ¿Cuántos terminaron la práctica ayer con las tenses? Con las sentences. You know what? <laughs> uh -huh, Me faltaron todavía. Right, excellent. Very good. Sí, justamente eso quería decirles, right? Como esto es, esto es de aprender el tema gramatical y ponerlo mucho en práctica, right? Entonces vamos a trabajar en eso ahorita. It says the instructions. Let me see, Jose Carpio, can you please read the instructions? Hello, Jose Carpio, are you there? Maybe you're busy. Let's see. It's your, it's your yeah. There you go. Excellent, yeah. thank you. Thank you, Luita. Okay, Jose, nos lee las instrucciones, please. Okay, this uh, word individually, pray a blessed two sentence with the past of being negative. As question is need, compare your sentence with the class. That's correct, excellent, thank you, Jose. All right, everybody, this is what you're gonna do. You're going to create two sentences using the negative of be. All right, in past, of course. 
I will put over here the examples. Les voy a dejar los examples. Si tienen una duda o una consulta, me preguntan, all right? Recuerden que ustedes tienen una base hasta ahorita de vocabulary que pueden utilizar. No es necesario que estén pensando en un verb, all right? Pueden utilizar prepositions of place, eh, prepositions of time. What else can you use? Directions, anything else that you want, all right? So by the ones that are just getting into the class, para los que están entrando ahorita a la clase, right? Let me explain you. Estamos haciendo una pequeña práctica con el uso del wasn't or weren't in simple past, right? In past, the past of being. Of course, in negative, right? You have to create two sentences, al menos dos oraciones utilizando ese tiempo gramatical. And let me know when you're finished.
Now, take into consideration that the verb to be specifically the was is when you refer to something that el was básicamente se puede utilizar como fue, era, estaba, right? Ya el were, como es para plural, ya es estuvieron, fueron, estaban, right? That's the, those are the ways in which we can work with them. Repeat, please. Yes. Ah, Maritza, usted, usted estaba entrando, right? Déjeme le explico. Ahorita estamos trabajando el verb to be in negative, right? Estamos haciendo two sentences in negative. Pero les comentaba yo que el verb to be en el caso del was, que sería el pasado, right? Este puede significar fue, era, estaba, right? Y en el caso del were, puede significar estaban, fueron, eran, right? Porque es plural. Thank you. Teacher, eh, no sé, sería algo así como, I was sure they were playing a game. No sé si estaría bien. Repita de nuevo, please, Jamie. I was sure, I was sure they were planning, planning a game. Okay. I wasn't, como es en negativo, sería I wasn't, Jamie. I wasn't, correcto. I wasn't sure. Yes. Okay. ¿Qué más sigue? Disculpe, que lo de They, un... they, they, Ajá. ellos were plan, planning de planear. Ajá. Again. Ah, uh, I wasn't sure that they were planning again. Correcto. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Very good. Ahorita es un momento de preguntar, all right, Miss, ¿y esto por qué así? O Miss, ¿cómo puedo cambiarlo? All right. Y también de que me digan sus sentences para ayudarles. I have a good. For example, um, the football, the football team. Mm -hmm. Is weren't or wasn't? Wasn't. Wasn't the grupo. The game. In this case, was because I talk about the the team in mm -hmm. uh, Exactly, Alvita. Utilizamos el was wasn't, perdón, porque estamos en negative, porque estamos hablando de un grupo, right? Es como con people. Que aunque sea plural, no ocupo el word, sino que es como que hubiera, como que fuese una institución, digamos. There you go, excellent, exactly, that's correct, justamente así. Es como con el noun keys, cuando hablamos de keys de llaves, all right, eh, the keys wasn't, no, the keys weren't in the table, right, si estamos hablando de muchas, right, 
If they are just one, it's different. The one in the first day. El ejemplo son negativo o positivo? Negativo. Negativo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Si van terminando al menos una, me dicen. Sería, I wasn't hungry yesterday. Ajá, uh -huh. there you go, excellent. I wasn't hungry yesterday. Puede ser también, uh, they weren't very happy in the party last night. That's correct, excellent. Ahora sí, vamos a grande ese rhythm, very good. Y tengo una más, pero no sé. He wasn't the only man in the world. <laughs> exactly. That's correct, Fatima. It's correct. Okay. Well structured. Bien estructurada. Somebody else? Alguien más? Empiezo ya ir Que me corrija, please. <laughs> Excelente, Sonia. Tell me. He wasn't very handsome. Correct. Um, my mother and my father, I no sé si, si agarré o, o no, <laughs> wasn't good parents. Weren't. Eh, were, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Estamos Oye, hablando vale de al, ellos. Al day, exactly. Ok, ok. Tuve ahí la duda. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Está muy bien, Sonia. Those are good. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Somebody else? Yo, teacher. Ajá, Verónica. Uh, it's correct. Uh, you weren't in the party last night. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Um, I wasn't born in the Guatemala. I wasn't born in the Guatemala. Uh, I wasn't born in Guatemala. Yes. No necesita in the. All right. Solo necesita. I wasn't born in Guatemala. Ah, ok, ok. Thank you, teacher. Excelente, very good. Somebody else? Uh, I wasn't happy in the job. Es correcto. I wasn't happy in the job. Yes, it's correct. Thank you. Welcome. Very good. Ahorita es momento de despejar dudas, right? Porque media vez nos movamos del negative, ya pasamos del affirmative, ya estamos en negative, y luego vamos a las questions. Entonces, para que no nos surjan dudas, let's see, José Vega. Uh, is correct. Uh, uh, she wasn't in the park uh, with her friend. Uh -huh. She wasn't in the party with her friend. Uh -huh. Uh, number two, they weren't in the cinema in the premiere of the Fast and Furious. There you go. It's correct. Okay. Thank you. Very good. You're welcome, sir. Yes, Jamie. There weren't least. Ah, ahí está, Jamie. ¿Qué sucede? Mire, su, su sentence está muy bien, all right? Pero, ¿qué cree que tiene de diferente a las que estamos haciendo? Is question. Es eso. No, yo creo que el, el question mark lo envió para ver si, si estaba bien. Pero lleva un ver verbo. verbo. Ajá, very nice, ing, exactly. Y eso ya es otro tiempo gramatical. Right? Como le digo, está perfecta. Si estuviéramos en pasado continuo, estaría nítida. But we are in be past, all right? The past of be. So ahí no puede conjugar ese verbo. Teacher, uh -huh. sería we were wearing, ¿sí, verdad? We weren't. Uh -huh, we weren't. To go to the bank yesterday. Estoy en lo mismo, tengo un verbo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, exactly. Solamente sería mejor si lo dejara así, mire. We weren't at the bank yesterday. No estuvimos en el banco ayer. No es, ajá, uh -huh, ok. Ok. 
Yoga. Yoga. Excellent. Okay, so para despejar dudas, uh, uh, let's see. We, uh, it's correct. We, we weren't of the cruise that day. Yeah, that's correct. The one that you sent me is correct, Manuel. Teacher, sería así entonces. O solo mm -hmm. Lisa. Ok, lo que sucede aquí es que me está poniendo un verb y con el, con el verbo cero estar, en este caso pasado, que significa fueron, estuvieron, o estaban, o eran, right? Aquí no puede conjugar otro verb. Ok, con el simple past sí puede, con el simple past normal sí puede, pero ya cuando estamos hablando del verb to be, ya ahí no puede conjugar nuestro verb. Ok, ok. There you go, Jane. Teacher, o sea, la que le edité sería simple, simple past dijo, ¿verdad? Sin el verbo to be. Si no le pusiera el verbo to be. Pero como usted ah. le puso, we weren't at the bank, ya llevaba Ajá. ahí el verbo to be. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. There you go. Mire, es tan bonito cuando ya van, ya van encontrando qué pueden utilizar y qué no. Por el momento quizás se van a sentir un poco complicated, right? Porque vienen de aprender el pasado simple y ahora es como, no podemos utilizar el pasado simple. All right. Sí lo están utilizando, pero con el verb to be, right? que es diferente. Por eso les dije en una clase, el verb to be está aislado del, present, del simple present, porque no son lo mismo. Y el pasado simple es el didi, ¿no es cierto? El did sí va a utilizar auxiliar, que solo sería para preguntas, ah, right? sí. o para negar. Pero el pasado sí. simple solo es cuando usted cambia sus verbs, ya sea por irregular o por regular. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. exactly. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más que quiera darme sus sentences? Hola, soy Mayra. Yes, Mayrita, tell me. Ok. Um, I was playing on the beach. Está bien. Mm -hmm. Yes. Es, mire, sí está bien, porque no le voy a mentir, sí está bien, pero si fuera oh. otro tiempo gramatical. Ah, ya. Yeah. Yo estaba jugando, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Estaba jugando, sí, pero es otro tiempo gramatical. A ese tiempo gramatical mm. lo van a ver quizás el próximo curso. I'm not sure, pero se llama eh, pasado continuo. Uh, sí, como estábamos con eso, ¿verdad? De, 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 ¿cómo es que se llama? De agregar, ¿verdad? O sea, de jugar con los verbos. Ajá, ajá, por eso. Ah, ya. Yeah, de ya vamos. Ajá, continúe. Sí, este, y este tengo otra que dice, the dogs, the dogs were made. Se está bien. Weren't? Were made. Made. ¿No fueron sí. hechos? Míos. Ah, weren't mine. Ay, my, perdón. <risa> ah, pues voy a poner my, perdón. Excuse me. No se preocupe, Mayrita, si eso a todos nos pasa. Okay. Right. Thank you. Very good. Sí, queridos eh, o estimados participantes, all right. Ahora van a ver en el video que tenemos que chequear cómo él dice, cómo el profesor explains that necesitamos aislar ambos topics, right? Porque si, si es cierto, ambos están en past, no significan lo mismo. Por ejemplo, con el did, yo sí puedo poner un verb in present, right? Y si solo quiero simple present, solo cambio mi verb. Pero ya con el wasn't, or weren't, or was, or were, no puedo hacer lo mismo, right? Ya de ahí sí si me puedo, con eso puedo utilizar adjectives, for example, Anita was beautiful, o Anita was angry, right? Ahí sí podemos utilizar adjectives, nouns, different things. But you need to know how to work, right? Now, so far, somebody else has another question? O otra sentence que les gustaría compartir conmigo? Yo, teacher. Ajá, ya te. She wasn't... In the supermarket yesterday, mm -hmm. Check. and 
Mario and Miguel weren't best friends in the past? There you go. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. All right, everybody. Now, somebody else, alguien más? They weren't to, no, they weren't prepared to, no. They weren't studied for the exam. <laughs> they weren't ready, tal vez. Huh? They, Ay, weren't they weren't ready. Uh -huh. They weren't ready? For the exam. For the exam. Mm -hmm. Okay. They weren't, they weren't ready for the exam. Mm -hmm. uh, the football game, no, the football, the football team wasn't win the champion. There you go, wasn't in the championship. Yes, Alvita, those are correct. You're welcome. I thank you. Now, if nobody else wants to practice or pass, I will move on, right? Si a medida avanzamos en la clase, eh, quieren expresarme algo, you let me know, okay? So let's go with pronunciation, negative contractions, all right? We need to learn how to work those contractions. If you might have noticed, you notice that it's kind of difficult saying weren't or wasn't, don't, can't, all right? All those are the negatives. Vamos a chequear un video con la pronunciation. No se van a confundir, ahí aparecen todos los negatives en distintos tiempos gramaticales, right? So no se preocupen, solo presten atención a la pronunciation. Let me see, voy a compartir con ustedes ahorita el video. Hi everyone, in this class you learn to sound natural when expressing a contraction. You don't need to copy anything, right? Just pay attention. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't. Two syllables. Isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. All right, now let's move on to the next one. I have those examples over here, right? I have them in here. Let me see if I can make them bigger for you. Now it says pronunciation, negative contractions, right? Let's start with this. Como, como hemos hecho en las últimas veces, veces, con estos tiempos, we need to practice a lot the pronunciation, right? Aren't. Que se escucha esa teo, right? Aren't. Don't. Weren't. Can't. Isn't. Doesn't. Wasn't. Didn't. Right? I will read. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. This word, swimsuits. Swimsuits, swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday. And he isn't here today. All right? So there you go. Now let's practice together. Let me see. I will have Veronica Esmeralda, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Primero me dice este vocabulary que tenemos aquí, que es de los negatives, y luego me lee el parrafito. Please. Okay. Yeah. Aren't, weren't, don't, 
can't, isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. Listen and practice. They didn't eat <clears throat> dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee. And she doesn't like tea. This aren't their swing, no, swim, swim sweets. They can swim. Excuse me? Swimsuits. Swimsuit. Mm -hmm. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday. And he isn't here today. There you go. Excellent, Veronica. Thank you. Let's go with Carla Patricia, please. First the vocabulary, then the reading. Aren't, don't, weren't, can't, isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't, listen and practice. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swim, swim, swim suits. They can swim. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. There you go, excellent, thank you. Let's go with, let me check somebody else. Let's see. Manuel Rosales, please tell me the vocabulary and then the reading. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't, uh, isn't, doesn't, was, this, uh, this didn't, this, didn't, didn't. Listen and practice. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee. Um, she doesn't like tea. These this are are not the swing seat. They can swing. Is is he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't here yesterday um he is isn't here today there you go excellent sir thank you let's get Fatima Guardado please aren't don't weren't can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuit. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. There you go, excellent. Thank you, Fatima. Let's go with, let me check, Jose Vega, please. Okay. Um, listen and practice. Aren't, weren't, don't, can, isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. Listen and practice. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can swim. He, he wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. There you go. Excellent, Jose. Thank you. Let's go with... Alba, I think her last name is Aguilar, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Aren't, 
Weren't, don't, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. No, these aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. There you go, excellent Alvida, thank you. Thank you. Let me go with Jamie Merlos, please. Listen and practice. They did eat dinner because they were, weren't hungry. I don't like coffee. Uh, uh, she does like tea. Doesn't? Doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimming. Swimsuits. Swimsuits. Mm -hmm. They can swing. She was her yesterday and they isn't her today. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, Jamie. Okay. And let me go with the last one. I think it's going to be a um, minute. Let me check. Um, Jose Carpio, please remember to tell me the vocabulary first and then you read. Hacer el vocabulario primero les ayuda a ya ir preparados cuando les toque el reading, ¿ok? Ok. Eh, primero serían los lo, lo, lo del cuadro, ¿verdad? Yes, these ones. Ahora, where, dumb, can, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't, uh, he listened in practice. Mm -hmm. They didn't eat dinner, dinner because they weren't hungry. I, I don't like coffee and, and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimming. They can't swim. Uh, he wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. There you go, excellent, Jose. Repeat after me, swimsuits. Swimsuit. Mm -hmm. There you go, excellent. Thank you, Jose. All right, guys, excellent. Most of you already practiced and some others because of the time I won't be able to practice with you. But let's move on. We have a conversation, right? So it says, WH questions with did, was, and where. Como todos estos son pasados, pueden estar en una conversación normal, en un párrafo normal, all right? Como ya vieron ahorita, todos los negatives, aunque son distintos, tiempos gramaticales están in a whole paragraph, right? Lo mismo sucede con esto. Lo único que hay que saber cómo manejarlos ambos, right? Let's go with this one. Melissa. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? Grow up. Aquí estamos en present. Grow up. I grew up past. Este es pasado. I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Remember this word college, right? College. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. I needed the money. And I loved it. And I loved it. Look, what do you think? Well, um, all right. She's not gonna pay that card. Okay, now let me go with Maritza Rivera, you are Melissa and Mayra Lopez, you are Chuck. Action. So, Shuk, where did you grow up? I read, I, I grew up in Texas. 
I was I was bored there too. In when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1999, I went to color hair. Oh, what was your major? Drama. Rain. I was an actor for five years after color. That's interesting. So we did you bacon? Bacon? I are still because I needed the money and I let it look. That do you, that do you think? Well, good. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, girls. All right. Excellent, really good. Now, let's go to the vocabulary. Aquí hay un vocabulary que puede ser un poquito difícil, right? Así que voy a hacer un review de eso ahorita. Interesting. Interesting. College. College. Hairstylist. Hairstylist, right? Recuerden que cabello es hair, so we say hairstylist. Hairstylist, all right? Excellent. Let's go with the following. Let me have Alba Aguilar. You are Melissa, Jose Carpio. You are Chuck. Action. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your mayor? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I need the money and I love I love you its look. What do you think? Well, um... <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Albita, she's not going to pay that card, all right? No va a pagar ese corte, ¿verdad? Albita. No. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, guys. Now, let me move on. Let's have Elizabeth Campos. You are Melissa. Dinora Hernandez. You are Chuck. Action. So, Chuck. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there. And when did you come? No. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That, that's interesting. So why did you become a hairstyle? Because I need the money and I love you he look. What do you think? Well, um, Excellent. There you go, girls. Very good acting. Let me go with Carla Patricia. You are Melissa. And let me see. Manuel Rosales, you are Chuck, right? Solo voy a repetir de nuevo ese número, everybody. It's 1990, right? Action. Hello, Carlita, are you there, Carla Patricia? Okay, maybe she's busy. Quizá está ocupada. Vamos a ver. Um, let me see, Sonia, please. You are Melissa, and Manuel, you are Chuck.
No tengo a Sonia tampoco aquí. So, sí, aquí está. Thank you, Sonia. Ay, es, que, es que tengo el perro ladrando, Tiche, y no, por eso no quería activar todavía. Ah, ok, don't worry, no se preocupe, la comprendo. <laughs> ok, ok. Uh, so, so, where did you grow, grow up? I grew up in the Texas. I was born there, there too. And when did you come Los, to Los Angeles? In 99. Así dijo, ¿verdad, teacher? 1990. 99. 99. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for the five years after college. That is interesting. You continue, Sonia. So why? Ay, Dios mío. <laughs> Dios mío. That, that's interesting. So we did you become? Ah, ay, señor. Sorry, teacher. Her stylist. Ya no veo, ya no veo, ya no veo. Uh, that's interesting. So we did you become? Um, hair, hair stylist. Excellent. Because I needed the money and low its look. What do you think? Well, uh... <laughs> excellent. There you go, guys. Thank you. All right, everybody. Because of the time, then again, I won't be able to share with you uh, this conversation, right? But let's move on. I want you to check this. A double H questions with did, was, and where, right? Algo interesante que, tiene, que tienen estos tiempos gramaticales, right? Es que podemos hacer uso de las palabras con WH, que ustedes ya las conocen bien. Sería el where, el why, when, how, what, right? Which, todas esas son palabras con WH, right? So, we have these examples. Where did you grow up? Como tengo mi auxiliary, no necesito cambiar el verb. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Ya cuando voy a contestar, sí cambio mi verb. Porque no tengo ningún auxiliary para afirmativo. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. De nuevo, utilizo mi auxiliary para questions porque solo ahí lo puedo utilizar o en negative. Y ya contesto con mi verb in simple past, right? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, right? There you go. Vamos con el past of being. How old were you in 1990? I was 18, right? Si notan aquí, no tengo ningún auxiliary. Por ende, voy a utilizar el was o el were, pero no hago uso de ningún otro verb. Okay, y para contestar es lo mismo, right? Solo utilizo el was o el were dependiendo de, del sujeto que escuchemos. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Now, let me ask you, let's see. Yo les voy a ir preguntando a algunos de ustedes. Let me start with Jancy Jiménez. Okay, Jancy, where do you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. Excellent, thank you, Jancy. Jose Vega, yes. how old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? I was drum. How was college? I was great. It was great. Excellent. Great. Okay. Elizabeth Campos, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? 
Because I need the money. Excellent, thank you. Manuel Rosales, how old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Excellent, thank you. Now, let's change. Um, let me see, Jose Carpio, you ask, and Fatima Guardado, you answer. Okay. Usted pregunta, Jose, y Fatima va a contestar. Todas. No, son las primeras tres, please. Okay. Uh, where did you grow up? Grow up? I grew up in the Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a high list? Because I needed the money. Excellent. There you go, guys. Thank you. Maritza, usted pregunta estas otras tres. Y let me see, Jamie Merlos, usted contesta. How old were you in 1990? 1990. 1990. I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How oh, what call it? It was great. Excellent. There you go. Thank you. Carla Patricia, you ask. Usted hace estas tres preguntas. And let me see. Mayra Lopez, usted contesta. Where did you grow up? I grew up. I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in in in, in nineteen ninety. Why did you become a hairstyle? Because needed the money. Excellent. There you go. Right. Very good. Let me check and Sonia, I will ask you, Sonia. So how old were you in 1990, Sonia? Hello? Oh, I was 18. Pensé que ya había activado el micrófono. Okay, don't worry. What was your major in college? I was drunk. How was college? It was great. great. Excellent, great, very good. All right, everybody, that's pretty much it for today's class. It was a pleasure to be with you. I will see you on Monday, all right? Si tienen alguna duda, on Monday la podemos resolver porque también vamos a trabajar en el final exam. All right, everybody, bye. 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 El lunes. Bye. El lunes. Yes, yes. El lunes es último día. No, martes. Es que vamos a trabajar lo que nos falta, que creo que son solo dos lecciones y una parte del examen, right? Para que ustedes vayan avanzando y ya el martes lo terminamos. Perfecto, gracias. Bye. Yes. Y después del martes, usted va a seguir con el módulo preintermedio. No, no sé, José, todavía no me han avisado. Ok. All right. Okay. Very good. Cualquier cosa yo les aviso, right? Bye. Bye. Bye.